Welcome to the Dad and Cole Football Patrol. What's up, guys? I am Dad. And I am Cole. What's going on, buddy? <clears throat> um, life. Life <laughs> is constantly going on, isn't it? Thank, thank goodness for that. What are we talking about today in our episode? Daddy, what Dad got wrong and what I got right in the 2018 recap. Yeah, so first off, I can't believe the season has come and gone. It amazes me how fast <laughs> it went by. I hope this one stays um, short, shorter. Which one? This upcoming season. Yeah. You want it to be even faster? No. Oh, you you hope it sticks yeah. around longer. Yeah, I know. It just seems like it went by like a blip. So, Cole, I feel like for the people out there, first off, right out the bat, I just want to get it off my chest. The things that I goofed up <laughs> and predicted wrong, because there's a few of them, and then I want to highlight the things you got right. Because there's some good predictions you got, and I think one of the biggest predictions of the whole season, you definitely got right. So first off, here's where I goofed up. I was wrong about the Patriots. Woof! I thought that they were just going to finally run out of gas. I thought that the stuff between Brady and Belichick was finally going to implode. And I thought they were just going to not even make the playoffs well, boy, I got that one very wrong, didn't I? I thought they were going to get in, like, the wild card. Yeah, you thought they were going to... You didn't necessarily think they were going to win the Super Bowl, but you thought they were going to do a lot better than what I was saying. So I goofed on that one big time. Another big one I got wrong, and you were on the opposite side of me. So that Patrick Mahomes. Yes. So go ahead, talk about it. You were excited about him mm -hmm. all the way from spring, summer, into training camp. I kept... Poo pooing it, saying, No way. I don't think there's any way that young guy is going to go out and be able but to take. I keep saying yes because I, I was like, um, saying, like, all he has good targets that he can throw to. I, you know, and that's a critical thing that you kept pointing out. Oh, he was stepping into a ready made offense, right? You kept mm -hmm. talking about the players around him, and you're right, he was plugged right in. But even beyond that, his ability to just make plays. His athleticism, yeah. decision-making. The left-hand throws. Oh, yeah, the throws down the field. I mean, he was unbelievable. Now, let me ask you this. We're not doing our preview of next year just yet, but I do want to ask you, what do you expect from Patrick Mahomes heading in as a second-year starter in the next year's season? Well, that was just something special for the Chiefs. Maybe this, like, this season he'll have, like, a... 35 touchdowns, not that 50 mark again, but... Which, by the way, 35 is an incredible number in football, but you think there might be a little bit of a regression yeah. having being... He'll a... still be good, though. Yeah, I, I think he's going to be a good one, too. But to your point, I think a lot of quarterbacks in their second year after the defensive coordinators around the league have an offseason to look at film, study their tendencies and weaknesses come out with a much better game plan against him. And that doesn't mean he can't eventually overcome that and just go beyond the great things. Yeah. But I think he might have a little bit of a step back here as well. And that's not a knock on him. That's just the natural progression of quarterbacks in the league. So, Cole, let's focus in on some things that we got right. Let's toot our own horn. Toot, toot. Let's give ourselves some pats on our backs. Mark Jackson, let's talk about him. Yeah, we both got that right. The only thing that we were a little bit off on this, I think, was the timing of it. I think that we both thought he might take over the starter role much earlier. I think I was even calling from, from day one. But you were always a Lamar Jackson guy. You actually got me excited about him. So go ahead and talk a bit about Jackson's end of the year and in the run into the playoffs they had. I also like like um, his rushing ability. That really helped the team. It so did. It was almost something like we've never seen before. Even Mike Vick, I don't think it was as orchestrated yeah. as a quarterback running attack when Vick but played. Also... In that Chargers wild card game, he was just off. Like, he keep getting sacked and fumbled. Well, you're bringing up a great point. And is that style of offense, can it win in the playoffs when everything gets shrunken down? There's more urgency. I feel like the defenses compress a little bit. And I don't know that that style can necessarily sustain in the playoffs. However, I think he's going to keep maturing as a passer. He's going to keep adding that element. I think they need to get a little help at wide receiver. I expect big things from him. What do you see from him in the future moving forward? Um, 
They could also draft a wide receiver that could be better, like、um, A.J. Brown. He's a good wide receiver from Old Miss. They could draft him. Cool. That's a good little tidbit, good little nugget you're dropping there for the folks out there. Nice one. I really wanted,、um, I really thought Christian McCaffrey. Would be really good, and turns out I was right. Yeah, you were all over him for fantasy football, especially. You even got a McCaffrey jersey for Christmas, right? Santa brought you a McCaffrey jersey, <laughs> and he. Instead of wearing my heels. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you got your heel on, but I think he far overshot anyone's expectations of what McCaffrey can do. He's the real deal. It looks like he can handle the workload. Now, what do you see out of him moving forward, though, and that offense for the Panthers? Put even put him in quarterback over Cam Newton. <laughs> you just let him do everything on the offense, right? McCaffrey seems like that kind of special player. He was fun to watch. You definitely got that one right. Let everyone sack him. Let him be the <laughs> only person on the field. <laughs> What was a prediction that you guys got right on the 2018 season? Yeah, guys, leave, leave a, a comment. comment. Yeah, we'd love to hear from you. What's something you thought was going to happen that ended up really happening? Leave a comment. And if you don't mind bearing your soul like I did with the goofs and mishaps, let us know what you got wrong too. I clearly got some big things wrong, and I'll take ownership for that. that I got <laughs> right. Yeah, but leave us a comment. Let us know your look back, and then what else, buddy? Subscribe. We would love for you to hit the red subscribe button so you can stay up to date with all our episodes of the Dad and, and Cole, Cole Football Patrol. That's right. Anything else, dude? No. Okay. Until next、Bye. time, guys. See ya.